Welcome to my channel. I Surya in a Bhagwat. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas with you. So stay tuned to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and aerospace engineering students, especially those who are preparing for competitive examination. Today, I'm going to solve GATE 2018 paper on space dynamics. If you have further inquiry, you can drop down to my mail to 9489224114ash at gmail.com. First question The tangential velocity v of a spacecraft which is in a circular orbit of radius r around a spherical earth mu equals to gm gravitational parameters of earth is given by the following expression v equals to root over mu 2r b v equals to root over mu r v equals to 2 pi by mu root over mu r power 3 by 2 and v equals to 2 pi by root over mu r 2 by 3 so let's recall the formula you have to memorize the formula here they have given circular orbit of a radius you have to remember this formula v suffix c this is a velocity of an circular orbit which gives root over gm by r or we can say mu by r root over mu by r so our right answer is our answer b comes the next question equation of a trajectory of a typical space orbit object around any planet in polar coordinates r theta is given as follows h equals to angular momentum mu is a gravitation parameter e is a eccentricity r is a radial distance from the planet center theta is the angle between the vector e and r so here also you have to keep in mind for a conical section what happens including the eclipse we get as answer c so you have to remember the formula c it's a standard formula next comes in an elliptical orbit around any planet the location at which a spacecraft has a maximum angular velocity is first apoiesis periapsis c a point at 45 from the periapsis d a point at minus 90 degree from the apoiesis so let's recall for the angular momentum it depends on the azimuthal component of the relative velocity and which is constant for an orbit please make point that is angular momentum is h which is constant recalling the formula h equals to r into vt and which is constant from here what we can say that that r is inversely proportional to the relative velocity that means if r is having a larger value that means the velocity will be minimum but in the question what they have asked that is a ma how we can get a maximum angular velocity or relative velocity so when the r value has to go down or r value is less so we will get a maximum velocity or maximum angular velocity so what do you mean by r is lo uh, small small that means periapsis so the distance between the sun and the planet is very small so that that explains that answer b come to the next question a spacecraft forms a circular orbit at an altitude of 150 kilometer above the earth's surface of a spherical earth Assuming the gravitational parameters mu equals to 3.986 into 10 power 14 meter cube per second square and earth of radius of earth r equals to 6400 kilometer or 6400 kilometer the velocity required for the injection of the spacecraft parallel to the local horizon is dash accurate to two decimal places 
look here this is a question gate 2018 question uh, they have not mentioned the unit in which unit you want to find so either you can find in terms of kilometer or in meter terms so obviously here velocity you are finding so either in kilometer per second or you can find meter per second so let's see the solution first write the given data r so r first we need to find as first you have to add which at what altitude it is placed that means r will be equals to re plus at which altitude the spacecraft is locating from the circular orbit so you have to add that 6400 plus 150 we get as 6550 kilometer now we have given the gravitational parameter that is a product of gm or uh, mu we can say that is 3.986 in 10 power 5 okay so how i have done it i have written 10 power 5 from meter cube i have written converted in kilometer cube per second square so because all the terms in kilometer so i convert it in kilometer so now recall it's time to recall the formula so what is the formula vc because why we are using this formula because they have mentioned a circular orbit so that's why we are using this formula vc equals to root over gm by r so here instead of gm we are going to apply the value of 3.986 in 10 power 5 and in, in place of r we are going to place 6 550 root over now when you solve this problem and we get a 7.80 kilometer per second so here they have asked in accurate to two decimal places so we get as answer is 7.80 kilometer per second if you are going to do for meter per second you will get a different answer you will get as 7800.96 meter per second I hope this session was useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. And don't forget to share this video with your needy fellows. Bye bye. Take care.